Integrity. Take a look at this. Here's a bomb, and underneath it says integrity. It's too late to admit you're colorblind, right? Here, defuse this bomb. It goes back to knowing yourself. But it also goes down, comes down to being honest, being real, not being afraid of admitting that you don't know how to do something or you don't have an answer to a problem, no matter what the pressure is. Do it early, because if you wait till it's later, the consequences are much greater. The problems are much greater. And from a selling point of view, you all are going to be selling, right, as entrepreneurs. You're going to be selling your business idea. You're going to be selling your idea to your peers to try to get new management team members. Never put the sale ahead of integrity. It's okay to say, I don't know. In fact, it's a real sign of integrity to say that and to act that way. We talked about health a bit. Here we have Shirley and her mom talking as they tighten up the belts. And they say, don't fret so much about breathing, Shirley. You can breathe at the end of the day. That, to me, is not the definition of success, OK? Don't compromise your health for your business. If you're healthy, if you're healthy mentally and physically, it'll make a difference in the health of your business, I guarantee. So make time to take care of yourself. If you're stressed out, step away. Go for a walk. Maybe have your business meetings over a bike ride, over a nice walk. This is where health comes into play and a big part of success. Setting intentions. To me, this is without a doubt one of the most important factors in success and a lost art. What does it mean? Well, I hope that each of you had an intention today, at some point in your day, about accomplishing X, Y, or Z. I had an intention today, coming in and sharing with you my best practices, some of my experience, and then learning from all of you. That's my intention that's going to stay with us for the next 45 minutes. Know your intentions. It actually will dictate your attitude. If you don't check in with your intention, it's going to be hard to know what you want to accomplish, even in a one-hour meeting. Each step of the way, when you schedule a calendar event, when you know you're going to meet with somebody, set intentions. It goes a long way. And then start making bold statements. This is me. I made a few bold statements a few years ago. I said, within five years, people will use the internet for instant calculations, quotes, and to chat on the fly. Researching a company's products would take minutes. And if I had my way, you would never have to hold for a customer service rep. Now, when do you think I made these comments? Throughout a year. Yes. A little, little earlier. 96. But at the time, at the time, it was a very bold statement. I mean, when we were selling websites, the first company that I started, Web Elite, it wasn't just selling a company on the idea of working with us, right? It was also selling them on the idea that they needed a website. We had to create a market. We believed that it was going to be critical, that they had to have a website, that they could save money by replicating their business process online. But we had to convince them of that. And then we had to convince them that we were the vendor to provide that. And that all comes with starting to make a bold prediction, a bold statement. Make a bold statement about your business. It's way early, right? It's way early in the process of developing your ideas. What do you believe you're really doing here? What do you really want to see here? What's your vision? Put it into a statement. So here's some other statements. Websites are becoming more than just a novelty. They may replace a telephone. And that was in 97. In the next five years, the internet will not only be an established standard, it will function as a fulcrum to how business is conducted. If, I can't even tell you guys how many times I would say things like this, and the people across the table would laugh. Now, all of you guys are looking at there, and you're like, of course, right? This is how the internet works. This is how critical it is for you to have a web presence, and if possible, to conduct business online. But back, what was it, 15 years ago, whenever it was, it was absolutely bold. And it's good to be bold. That's your job as an entrepreneur. That's one of your functions, is to come out there and say something strong, even if it's scoffed at, even if it's not believed.